Go and welcome Bordeaux to the Stade Michel Dornano on Friday night with the objective of extending their five-year stay in Ligue 1 Conferama. Malherbe have picked up 10 of a possible 12 previous points to come into the final day with their fate in their own hands in avoiding automatic relegation. 18th place, Gong could avoid the two-legged relegation playoff if they beat Bordeaux and Amiens were to lose at Gangon. Equally a defeat for the Normans, paired with a victory for Dijon, would send them straight down. Bordeaux had lost their last six games, and yet in the 19th minute, they struck to silence the hopeful Normans. Sergei so Palencia with a terrific assist. And your new Sankari couldn't miss. Wonderful play between Yasef Klasil and the 23-year-old Barceloni finding Sankari. Three goals in cup competitions this season, but this the first in the league after 11 league goals for Bordeaux in the past two campaigns. Well, Paolo Sosa already stating he wants a smaller group for next season. But he'll have to do without Yaroslav Blasil. The former Czech Republic midfielder scored in Bordeaux's 4-0 win over Caen two seasons ago and almost repeated the trick, only for Brice Samba to save smartly at his feet. Placel bid farewell to the Girondin fans at their last home game, a 1-0 loss to Reims. Ocon in desperate need of the goal, and Enzo Crivelli using his big frame to muscle through. And Gaetan Poussin in for normal number one, Benoit Costiel, showing he's an able deputy. Well, this is the seventh time in 15 seasons, 10 of those in Liga and Conferama, that the Normans had to secure their safety on the final day of the season. Ahmed, they'd love to shake, because this is the third in a row. Talismanic captain, Vassel Fager, unable to get his touch and shot away quickly enough. The space suddenly closed down in the blink of an eye. 30-year-old deadly from free kicks. In some ways almost set himself up for one in open play. Whipped it in, but over Poussin's crossbar. And that was that. Well, it wouldn't have mattered if not for the news that Dijon had turned a 1-0 defeat into a 2-1 win at Toulouse. Caen unable to take care of their own business. And now the harrowing drop to Domino Ligue 2 that ends their five-year stay in the top flight.